Welcome to Photography 102, Photography in the Field. I do apologise if there's a bit of wind. Uh, I was actually up here yesterday and the wind was horrific. So, with the timestamps of each one, you can go back and check the differences. I'm going to be taking some shots now. Uh, so today I'm going to be going over focal length and then I'm also going to go over shutter speed and aperture and ISO. Uh, so, first of all, we are at 17 millimetres focal length on this lens here as you can see it's very wide you can see like the branches here you can see me you can see the background you can see the poles you can see this pile on here as we progress you'll start noticing that these things start disappearing and the background here will get closer and you'll get closer to me as well and um, so currently we're at 17 well didn't we have this argument yesterday like come on get get over there come on Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Look, I'll get you a beer later on. Come on. Okay. Right, so we have the millimeters down here, and that's what you'll get with a 70 millimeter on a full frame. It would be slightly different at a APS-C or crop sensor camera because the crop kind of magnifies in a bit more. So it'd be a little bit less. <clears throat> For me to fill up this much of the frame, I'm literally two feet away from the camera right now. As you will notice, I'll be taking shots later on with a longer distance and I'll be at least 10 feet away. Okay, so we are currently at 20 millimeters focus. I'm, I'm putting me back to the wind so it doesn't get too much windy noise. So this is 20 mil... Don't, come on. Do you want a beer too? Thank you. Um, so this is currently 20 mil. And as you can notice now, a little bit of the branch is gone, a little bit of the side's gone, and you're a little bit closer to the shore there. Um, there's not much of a difference. Everything's being shot at f2.8 throughout the whole focal range. Um, so you might notice that right now it's not too much of a blur distance between me and the background. The, the blur is, it's I would say soft. So you could actually still make out the background to a degree. And later on when you get to a different focal length, you'll notice that that's completely blurred out. Um, a lot of photographers like this in the portrait sense. The kind of isolate your subject and separate them from the background and um, if you're doing a wildlife shot as well it's very nice to have that as well and um, if you're doing a wedding shot you'll probably want everyone in and you'll want the church in, in back in focus in the background and um, so it all depends it's, there's all these variables of why you would use what lens for what type of photography so i am standing roughly about the same distance away so i probably a bit dark here and um, I'm standing roughly about the same distance away as I was with the 70 millimeters I'm taking up more of the frame now so as the focal length numbers go up you kind of get the magnification in I'm still standing in roughly the same spot there's about a foot and a half distance between me and the lens and you'll notice I'm filling up more of the frame so 24 millimeters, you'll probably notice that the shore has gone a bit more, the uh, the branch and the side there as well. You're getting a bit closer to me, but you still get a lot of the vista in, including myself in this shot. So 28 mil, come on, thank you. Just okay. So the reason why I've done 28 millimeters on this is because I have a hammer on 17 to 28 millimeter lens. So this is the maximum that this lens will allow me to do so if this is the kind of lens that you are interested in you can see the very start 17 millimeters 24 now 28 that is the full focal range of that lens now depending on the camera um so the sony a7 III the a7 r4 and i think the a7 r3 and probably one or two others you can adjust depending on which camera it is you can do a crop in so let me show you this now so this is now cropped in and um, what that does is instead of taking up the full frame here of the sensor it will take up a smaller part and the way it works is because this here is smaller than it you're kind of zoomed in and it's a factor of 1.5 so that was 28 millimeters multiplied by 1.5 this is 27 millimeters roughly so you do have that option, however, you will be losing that bit of quality around it. Now I'm shooting on the A7R4, so I'm assuming that because it's a 61 megapixel sensor that I'm not gonna lose much quality on it. That's something to bear in mind if say you were shooting with the Sony A7S3, it's a 12 megapixel 
camera as 12 megapixel sensor so you will be losing it okay so we are at 28 millimeters and this is me standing where i was at the very start you notice that my head is gone a bit more my body is gone so to get a kind of good frame i'd have to stand three feet away from it now um, as you can see that there's a bit more blur between me and the background now as you kind of get closer and f as you get further away and as your subject gets further away from the lens and the background as well there's a separation there where the background starts becoming more blurry and the foreground kind of now from the beginning you probably noticed from 17 to 25 we're at 25 right now hey nice thanks uh we're at 25 millimeter right now we're, we're starting to get tighter in now so it's, it's focusing in and focusing in you'll notice now um with the wide angles uh, say from 20 millimeters down to 12 millimeters there's a massive difference does happen but then from 25 to say 60 there's, there's a bit of a difference and then there's another jump from about 60 all the way up to about 200 millimeters where it's a fast jump as well and then from 200 millimeters up to about 800 millimeters it's the the distance doesn't seem so much i'll put in a link to a focal length magnifier and um, just scroll along on the uh, the icon at the bottom and you'll kind of focus in on that image and what it does is it'll show you the difference of the focal length but what you want to look for is when you're over 200 and as you keep on scrolling that number is going to rise very quickly but you don't see that you're zooming in as much um, but some of them do uh, are needed just to kind of keep your distance away um, wildlife sports you can't go on the field or you can't get up to a board with a 35 millimeter right in front of them unless it's a trained pet and unless you want to get kicked off of a so now we are coming to a popular focal length 25 millimeters and um, you'll get this in a prime lens you can get 1.4 1.2 some are one some are 0.98 1.8 these are all great focal lengths to get a nice background blur and very intimate shots you have to kind of get close up with the uh the subject the model the person individual so here we are now with 50 millimeters it's a very popular focal length because you can kind of keep your distance away but you can still stay intimate it also reflects usually what the human eye would actually see and um, so it's a very popular lens again you'll see a lot of these in a 1.8 1.4 and usually it's called the nifty 50 and you usually get a nice cheap one and you think it's too good to be true but even the cheap ones are still a great value to get like it's a 50 millimeter 1.8 about 200 euro rough give or take and it's fantastic here we are now at the 50 millimeter range sorry about the wind if it's con don't, don't you start on me now come on come on come on come on, come on. there you go stay good 50 good 50 not that nifty right so here we are now at the 50 millimeter range you can start noticing that you're not getting as much you might start to notice now that the background is kind of being a bit more compressed we'll get into that at a higher focal length you'll start noticing that the background starts being sucked in towards the camera and um, so it kind of the, whatever way the focal length is when it focuses on me it just sucks in the background and it brings it closer compared to the other millimeters if you want to look back and compare all these millimeters i'm going to put a timestamp on the channel and then you can click on any one of them to go back to the original number with that if you've made it this far hey um i would like to ask you if you wouldn't mind to subscribe to like comment just kind of help boost the channel so that i can make more content like this here we are at 75 millimeters it, it's a strange number yes you might say why is he saying 75 or most lenses are 24 to 70 so why 75 well tamron have created a smaller lighter cheaper lens that is 28 to 75 millimeters with that i'm a cheapskate so i went and bought the cheapskate one which is a 28 to 75 so here is the maximum length of this lens and if you want to go back to 28 which was the end of the original lens so you buy these two lenses you now have the focal length of 17 millimeters the 75 
Now, there is another lens after this, which is 70 to 180. And then you have that more distance. So as you can notice now that the background is nice and blurry, getting blurry there now, or the bokeh, the bokeh. Um, and this is kind of the effect you'll get at roughly the six feet mark. You'll get me fully in frame now up to the shoulders. Wish I'd been walking out a bit more, you know. I think it didn't pick me up, didn't focus on me, which was kind of annoying. So this here now is 75 millimeter. Nice. Right, something went finally my way. Um, so this is 75 millimeters. We're getting tighter in. You can see that like my legs are gone now. I'm still standing in the same position roughly. Um, and you can start to see the background blur and separation between me and the background. We are now at 100 millimeter. Come on, man. Everybody else has been killed. Like, come on. Oh, this way. Oh, God. Like, come on. We're almost done. We're almost done. The battery's dying. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dear. The wind's picking up. The battery's dying. Nothing's going this way. So this is 100 millimeters. You can now really notice the difference on the background blur. It's fantastic. It's getting creamier. It's giving the separation, and I'm now the focal point. So this is good for portrait photography. You know? Uh, yeah. Okay. You need a better model. But if you had a better model, just think of the fantastic shots you'd get now. Um, so yeah, this is 100 millimeters. Okay. Just fine. Stay there. Then. Whatever. Next. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Right, this is 100 millimeters, uh, seven feet away. Yeah, this is good if you have bad breath, you know, and you want to stay away from someone. This is where I've been standing this whole time. I do apologize if the wind is bad. It was not as bad as yesterday. So I'm hoping I can get away with it. This is 100 mil, sorry, this is 180 millimeters yes all right so 180 millimeters and this is the focus lens you can now notice it's really blurry background here and i'm in focus it's at f 2.8 and yeah, that's basically it as you notice the numbers from 17 to 28 and then 28 to 75 and then 70 to 180 you now have this massive focal range with three lenses it's called the trinity lens because three lenses that cover a massive focal range and those are the main ranges that are used a lot just about get me into frame and i'm like seven feet away from it so about here Right, so I'm kind of in frame. I'm about 10, 12 feet away from the camera right now. Roughly, give or take. And this is me filling up the frame. Great for breath and stinky breath and staying away from people and, you know, social distancing as well. So you can kind of get away with this one. It's just, you can't show the model the pictures while you're doing it. 